We have indeed, isn't this amazing? James, they are swimming, which is very exciting indeed. We've been waiting most of the afternoon to see if they would swim, so I'm super glad that they're in. And look, there we go, straight under, and we're gonna just see little trunks every now and then. They might push each other around, and soon they might be splashing all over the place. But look at that light. Is that light not incredible? This would be a photographer's dream. The light is amazing, the elephants are swimming, there's going to be splashing, and there's lots of color in that water as well. There's blues and the green hues of that blue-green algae just make it even better. Such an amazing sighting that we're having. We're being so spoiled by elephants lately. I keep saying it, but it really is true. It's, it, to be able to spend time with the elephants the way we have over the last few days has been really very, very special indeed. And I hope all of you at home have thoroughly enjoyed it as well. And there we go. Are we both going to go under? There we go. Look at that. Just back sticking out. Isn't that amazing? So for two massive animals that really you wouldn't be able to sort of fathom could go underwater the fact that they're playing and are both underwater like that is just so amazing and you can see the size difference between the two look at the size of the sort of neck area of the one on the right that's that big male and then there's a younger bull on the left that's just playing with him at the moment and you can see he's much much smaller and it's probably getting a little bit deep for the younger bull that's why he's resting on the older one just trying to stay up and afloat there Remember, elephants can't actually swim. They're normally walking around on the bottom and then they kind of roll onto their side and that's why they go completely underwater. This is so special. From butterflies fornicating to elephants swimming, it's not a bad afternoon in the African bush, that's for sure. There we go. It's amazing. It always amazes me when they just completely disappear. Isn't that pretty? I think the other one's got a bit of fear of missing out because he's kind of at the edge testing the water. Why don't you come and join, buddy? It looks like such fun. And the other two certainly are not holding back in any way, so I'm hoping that the third one will come and join. And earlier we saw those elephants around twin dams and they seemed like they had done exactly the same thing. Some of them had been in the mud but some were just sort of a dark coloration like you see with these guys. So I'm sure some of them were actually having a really good swim in twin dams as well. So Francis, I've never seen Ellie's drowning. Oh there we go, we now s typical young male behavior. This is all dominance. So the bigger male is now sort of dominating the younger male just to make sure that he knows that he's the sort of bigger one. Um, in terms of drowning elephants, no. I've never seen an elephant drown in a sort of water hole like this. They know where it gets too deep and where it's not comfortable anymore and they'll then just kind of move out of there. But in terms of rivers, I've heard of elephants drowning when we get these massive floods. So in the 2012 floods and the 2000 floods that we had on the Sabi and Sand River, elephants were actually being rolled down that river from the amount of water that was coming down. So it does actually happen and they will then drown if they lose their footing. Ferg, what an incredible shot. Well done. That is amazing. And isn't that light amazing? Wow. So, so special indeed. We really are being very spoilt by these guys today. That is so, so nice. And the third one slowly but surely coming in. He's just edging. He's a little shyer. He's the one that's kind of, the water's not the right temperature for him, but just doesn't want to miss out on all the fun. And so is slowly but surely trying to make his way towards the sort of the other two in the edge of the water. And I'm sure he's going to get dragged in now. And it looks like a situation where you kind of going in and one of your siblings sprays water at you. I wonder if that's not going to happen now. <laughs> So, John, crocodiles can attack elephants. There's been quite a few documented cases, but it's generally much younger elephants. So smaller, younger elephants that they go after, not these bigger bulls that you see now. A big bull like this is way too powerful, even for that big crocodile that we saw earlier. And so you'll end up with a situation that they'll just throw that crocodile off. But yes, it does happen from time to time. And actually, in some areas, like on the lower Zambezi and, and on the Zambezi River through Zimbabwe, some of the elephants actually have shorter trunks from damage from crocodiles. You'll actually see the chewing part on the sort of end 
into the trunk and that gets infected and then rots away. So it can happen, but big bulls like this know, and this crocodile here in Chitwa Dam knows that these elephants are no, no good for it. It's, they're far too big and powerful. These crocodiles in this dam will hunt a lot of these Egyptian geese that we saw earlier and then other species of mammals that we get. So impalas, nyala, waterbuck, and varying other antelopes that we do get. Oh, isn't that incredible? Look at him. Ferg, you see him? He's lifting his head. Sorry, there was the male on the right had his head way out of the water and was just sort of standing up on his back legs almost. It was amazing just to see this sort of white tusk coming out and that trunk going up. Oh, and it's a porpoising elephant. So we had porpoising hippo the other day. Now we've got an elephant imitating a dolphin and spraying. Oh, this is incredible. Well done, guy. Isn't this amazing? Like I say, the light could not be any better. So it is marvelous, May, and Kirsty has reminded me that this is a marvelous sighting. Well, indeed, Kirsty, it is marvelous. I would imagine that many per people out there would agree with you and would say marvelous. So maybe we should do a one word tweet as to what you all feel about this. So hashtag Safari Live, one word. How would you describe this sighting? Kirsty's is marvelous. So let's see what all of the others out there have to say. There we go. Can't not join in the fun. There we go. Now it's, we've got all three of them together. I think that may be the end of the swimming lesson for today. It seems like they're starting to make their way to the edge. I'm going to try and see if I can't just get up a little bit closer towards them because they're starting to drift away from us a little bit. Although we have such a nice view of our crocodile as well. It's a bit of a sort of fine balance here and it's difficult to sort of focus on what we want. We've got all the Egyptian geese in front, the elephants swimming in the background. We've got Vladimir the impaler in front as well. So to try and kind of just consider what we want to actually show you is very, very difficult at this stage. But I think the Ellie's are taking the cake at this stage and with their swimming antics are most So Ravi, you say unbelievable. Well, I think that's a good one word tweet. I would say this is pretty unbelievable too. It is, for me, I would, I'm going to use word of the month from last month, which would be spectacular. There we go, cursed. That's just for Kirsty because she said we use that word too much. <laughs> oh, Bushmum, this is a nice word. You say it's stupendous. It is a stupendous sighting. That would be a very good way to describe all of this. It's probably one of my better elephant sightings I've had in a while. Oh, and now? Isn't this amazing? I'm actually going to keep quiet for a bit, just so you guys can listen to all the sort of splashing that's going on. It's so, so nice, and it's so calming at this dam. So I'm just going to listen to the Ellie's play around for a little while. Isn't that just such a nice way to spend the afternoon? It's calm, it's quiet, the ellies are playing, the ducks are kind of on the edge. Even the crocodile is having a nice relaxing moment on his little island at this stage. I'll tell you what, when you get close to this crocodile, I was, we saw it from quite far away earlier, and now that we're a little bit closer, we realize just how big this croc actually is. It is massive, I would say easily, uh, probably four meters. What do you think, Ferg? Mm, yeah, 3.95. 3.95 from Fergus, there we go. But I reckon that that's a massive crocodile. You can just see by the thickness of that tail, and a lot of the crocodile is the tail itself. It's got big, powerful muscles that it's going to use to be able to hunt. And then look at those teeth. And there we go, that's for the people that are not sure the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. There's one of the differences is the fact that you can see those teeth on the outside of the mouth is a crocodile. Alligators, their jaws scrape, the teeth will fit inside, and you won't be able to actually see the teeth protruding like you do on a crocodile. But you would not want to be inside there. Oh, and you've woken up as well. Hello, Vlad. Good afternoon. That bird is very brave. I don't know if any of you can spot the little thick knee on the front right of the nose there. I'm not sure I'd want to be that close to a big crocodile of this size. Very brave indeed. 
and both of them are falling asleep. They must be friends. I wonder if they spend every afternoon on this sort of bank together absorbing the sunlight and they've just learned to deal with one another. Also a crocodile of this size will probably knows that a little bird that big is not going to be really much of a meal. I'd rather go after these Egyptian geese which is far more of a meal than anything else. And I've seen this particular crocodile take two Egyptian geese here at Chitwa Dam. They sit on this bank like this and then they go under and as the Egyptian geese come past through this little channel that's between the bank and the edge of the dam they then grab them and it's quite a commotion that goes on as you can imagine there's lots of honking and hissing from the Egyptian geese but that's a seriously good meal for a crocodile of that size it will last him for at least a few weeks before he will start to turn to fish and other items again but I see how Ellie's are still playing and I don't think we could ask for better light on those two elephants at the moment absolutely amazing well oh, it's playtime over So Aaron all the way from the land of the long white cloud. Well Aaron I hope it's not too cold there and I hope you're prepping for the rugby this weekend. If there is super rugby this weekend, I think there is. And I'm sure in New Zealand most New Zealanders are big fans of the rugby. And you're saying that your one word tweet was Chitwa Dam Cam, all in one word. Well yes, I mean, it's just literally everything going on here all together. Oh, there we go. We're going back in again. Bath time is not over and yeah, I think we should actually have a dam cam. I think it would be very, very nice to have a dam cam here. So much goes on in Chitwa, and as we go on in the year, you'll find more and more and more of these elephants will arrive, and big herds of buffalo should start arriving here. It becomes a, a phenomenal place to spend the winter months. Now, I'm going to try and just see if we can't reposition and get a little bit closer, because they've drifted quite far from us. And let's see if we can't just get a little closer to them. Unfortunately, our signal in this area sometimes gets a little bit dodgy, so I'm not sure if we're going to have a few issues with it but let's try anyway um, surely will be nice if we can get a little bit closer to them she to a damn wall that the